terms of business organization business studies overview of the topic number 1 introduction number 2 sole proprietorship and number 3 features of sole proprietorship introduction to this topic if one is planning to start a business or is interested in expanding an existing one an important decision relates to the choice of the form of the organization next we have various forms of business organization from which one can choose the right one include a sole proprietorship b joint hindu family business c partnership d cooperative societies and e joint stock company so moving on next we have what is sole proprietorship a sole proprietorship is an unincorporated business with only one owner who pays personal income tax on profits earned sole proprietorships are easy to establish and dismantle due to a lack of government involvement making them popular with small business owners and contractors sole proprietorship is a popular form of business organization and is the most suitable form for a small business especially in the initial years of operation now let's see the features of sole proprietorship number 1 formation and closer let's understand what is a formation and a closer Hardly any legal formalities are required to start a sole proprietary business. We all know that, right? Though in some cases one may require a license, there is no separate law that governs sole proprietorship. Closure of the business can also be done easy. Point two, that is liability. Let's understand what is a liability. So sole proprietors have unlimited liability. This implies that the owner is personally responsible for payment of debts in case the assets of the business are not sufficient to meet all the debts. Next we have sole risk bearer and profit recipient. What is it? The risk of failure of business is borne all alone by the sole proprietor. However, if the business is successful, the proprietor enjoys all the benefits. Actually he receives all the business profits which become a direct reward for his risk bearing. Next that is number 4 this control. What is control? The right to run the business and make all decision lies absolutely with the sole proprietor. He can carry out his plans without any interference from others. Point 5 that is no separate entity. In the eyes of the law No distinction is made between the sole trader and his business as business does not have an identity separate from the owner. Lastly we have lack of business continuity. What is it? Since the owner and business are one and the same entity that insanity imprisonment physical ailment or bankruptcy of the sole proprietor will have a direct and detrimental effect on the business and may even cause closure of the business